All right, guys, you know what today is. We're going to end the year right with random patron openings. All right, we're going to just try to spin it here right in the center, okay? Good luck to everyone. This is the two and up. Oh, my lord, that was super close. It goes to Axis, so good luck to you. You're going to get this deck right here. Let's see what is in store for you. I believe this is the first time you've won a deck, so congratulations. How fun is this? Let's see a really good one. Come on, baby. All right, it's an orange Archon. Star Alliance is your first house, second house, Sorion, and your third house is Sanctum. Alice Bayou Painter, and wow, that's a pretty cool Archon. Like the wings up top, mean, grimace-looking face. All right. And we just go ahead and just read these cards. You guys let me know in the comments down below which deck you liked more. Starting off with Star Alliance, it's Sacro Alien, 5 power, 2 armor, fight. Look at the top 3 cards of your deck, put one into your hand and one at the bottom of your deck, that's a great card. John Cargo with a draw pip, 1 power. Reap, discard the top card of your deck and reveal your hand. Archive each card that shares a house with the discarded card. That's a very nice card, first time we've seen that on the channel. Lieutenant Commander Trigons, 4 power, Reap, discard the top card of your deck, resolve that card's bonus icons if you had played it. Armory Officer Nell, hello. For power enhance the draw pip after an upgrade interest play, draw a card. Interesting. Survey with an amber pip enhance the draw pip. Look at the top two cards of your deck, discard one of them. Another survey, this one with a capture amber pip. Security Droid, for power. Taunt may be played as an upgrade instead of a creature with the text this creature gains taunt. Observe you, Max. It's an upgrade. Amber to be played. This creature gains fight, reap, capture, and amber. Hadron Collision. Remove a ward from a creature and deal three damage to it. This damage cannot be prevented by armor. Another one of those. Blast Shielding. It's an upgrade. Amber to be played. This creature gains plus two armor. Whenever this creature is used, its controller may attach Blast Shielding to one of its creature's neighbors. Access Denied. Another upgrade. Amber to be played. This creature cannot reap. Looking good with the officer. Oh my gosh, the officer Nell. Check it out. We have a gigantic creature. De La Seuss or something along those lines. 20 power. Can only be played with the other half. Look at that big guy right there. Love him. This is so good. Play. Capture all of your opponent's amber. Deal 5 damage to an enemy creature. Fight. Reap. Move 1 amber from it to the common supply. Deal 2 damage to each enemy creature. Wow, that is just insane. High Priest Torvis, 4 power, 1 armor. Reap, you may exalt it. If you do, after you resolve your next action card this turn, return it to your hand instead of placing it in your discard pile. Ooh, very interesting. Let's see some great actions in Sorion. Gladiodontist, 15 power, enters play stunned. Only deals 5 damage when fighting. Fight, reap, if this is the first time it has been used this turn, ready and enrage it. Exile, Amber Devy Plate with a Capture Pip. Give control of a friendly creature to your opponent. That's nice. So the creature you want to give to your opponent, just have it capture an Amber. Blast from the past, exalt a friendly creature, archive a Saurian creature from your discard pile. Deal damage equal to the archived creature's power to the enemy creature. That's a great card with Torvis, actually. Spoils of battle, Amber Devi play it. A friendly creature captures an Amber. Each creature with Amber on it captures one from its opponent. Gale atops, 12 power, only deals 4 damage when fighting. Wow, has some really big Saurian creatures in it. A 20 power, a 15 power, a 12 power. Faust the Great, 4 power. Your opponent's keys cost plus 1 amber for each friendly creature with amber on it. Play, you may exalt a friendly creature. Great card, love seeing that. Oh, another one, this one with the draw pip. Have a lot of different ways to get amber on a creature so far, so two of these is fantastic. Oh my gosh, wow. Okay, we were at the level of fantastic. This is actually incredible, very cool. And of course, it's coming. Amber, whenever you play it, search your deck and discard powerful either half of a gigantic creature. Reveal it, put it in your hand, shuffle your deck. Now we're on to Sanctum. It's Mantle of the Zealot. It's an upgrade. This creature gains. You may use this creature as if it belonged to the active house. Pretty cool we got an upgrade in Sanctum to work with that Officer Nell as well. Baldric the Bold, 4 power, 2 armor. Before fight, if the creature Baldric the Bold fights is the most powerful enemy creature, gain 2 amber. The Grey Rider, 2 power deploy. Play fight, reap. You may ready and fight with a neighboring creature. Nice. Smite, ready and fight with a friendly creature. Deal 2 damage to the attacked creature's neighbors. Seeker of Truth with the draw pip 3 power fight. You may fight with a friendly non synctum creature. We're definitely going to get some uses out of that big gigantic Sorion creature thanks to Smite and the Seeker of Truth. Wow, and another Seeker of Truth. Interesting. Gizzleheart Zealot, 4 power, interest play ready and enraged. General Zavador, 4 power, 2 armor enhanced, 2 capture pips. Things of Gizzleheart, uh oh, Amber every play it. Purge the most powerful creature. Ooh, that could be dangerous. Command here, Amber every play it. For the remainder of the turn, after you play another card, a friendly creature captures an Amber. Champion NFL, 6 power, 1 armor, and it has taunt. And the final card of this deck is Bulwark, 4 power, 1 armor, assault 2. Each of Bulwark's neighbors gains assault 2. 
Wow, that looks really good, actually. Good amber control. Uh, not sure just how much amber was in there. A lot of creatures. Overall, great stuff there. Like seeing a deck like that. All right, let me get my phone set up now for the 5 and up. Here it is. Good luck to you guys. And the winner of the second deck in this box is... Trips Ahoy! Very nice. Congratulations to you. I know you've won, it. I think, one or two decks. Let's see what this thing has in store for you. Bring it down here. Okay. Let's get that back out of the way. Come on, baby. We've already seen one good deck. Can we get one more? This would be a great way to finish out the year, guys. Okay. Gray Archons aren't bad. Shadows is the first house, second house is Sanctum, and the last house is Sorion. Oh, never soul, General of the Wimpy Street. Ooh, I hope Wimpy is not describing the deck. All right, let's see what's inside this thing. And while I get this open, if you watch the channel and you want to help support it, go ahead and visit my Patreon. I'll have the link in the description below. I really do appreciate it, and everything does go back into the channel. And honestly, this last year would not have been possible had it not been for the patrons. So, guys, thank you so much. It really really means a lot to me. One more thing before we bring the deck out. I am still waiting on a package. I cannot believe this. I think I ordered it either September or August. I ordered three very large packages. Two have arrived. The last one is still in back order. There are two items in that. They said one finally is no longer in back order, but they're going to send it at the same time as the other item comes back in stock. So I don't know what to expect with this. All right, let's see what we have here. Good luck, Trips Ahoy. Starting off with Shadows, it's Sacro Thief for power, two armor, and elusive. It slides over a little bit more, okay. Spike Trap, it's an artifact, amber W plate, Omni Destroy it. If you do, deal three damage to each flank creature. Ransack, steal one amber, discard the top card of your deck. If that card is a Shadows card, trigger this effect again, that's pretty nice. Miasma Bomb, it's an artifact, enhance the damage pip. Action, destroy it. Your opponent skips the Forge Key Step during their next turn. Macus Asp, three power, poison, and skirmish. Shoulder id is six power, taunt, cannot fight, and when it would deal damage, steal one amber instead. Seeker Needle, it's an artifact, action, deal one damage to a creature, if this damage destroys that creature, gain an amber. Another Seeker Needle. Mug, amber every plant, move one amber from a creature to your pool, deal two damage to that creature. Francis the Economist, three power skirmish, fight, each player gains an amber. Another Francis the Economist. Dark Wave, amber every plant, deal two damage to each non-mutant creature. And that ends the shadows. Now we're on to the Saurians. Sorry about that. Destroy a creature. Its controller gains an amber. I'm a big fan of that card. Optio Gorkus, three power, three armor, elusive. Each of its neighbors gains destroyed. Move each amber from this creature to a neighboring Optio Gorkus. Pterodactyl, 12 power, enters play stunned, only deals 4 damage when fighting. Before the fight, deal 4 damage to each neighbor of the creature Pterodactyl fights. Dreadbone Decimus, 5 power, play fight. You may exalt it. If you do, destroy a creature with lower power than Dreadbone Decimus. City State Interest, each friendly creature captures an amber. Another one of those. Galatops, keeping with the big creature theme, 12 power, only deals 4 damage when fighting. Another one of those. Cornison Octavia, 5 power, 1 armor, action, capture 2 amber. Console Primus, 3 power, enhanced a capture pip. Reap, move one amber from a creature to another creature. Beware the Ides, amber every play, deal 23 damage to a creature in the center of its controller's battle line. Ooh, another one of those. Purifier of Souls, I believe we've seen this. 5 power, 2 armor, destroyed effects cannot trigger. Very nice card, love that sort of tech. Oh my gosh, wow. Oh, okay. Lady Lorena, 6 power, 3 armor, taunt. Lady Lorena's taunts also apply to its neighbor's neighbors. That is a fantastic card. Let's see some creatures we want to protect. Angry Mob with the Capture Pip, 4 power. Before the fight, you may discard cards from the top of your deck until you discard an Angry Mob or run out of cards. If you discard an Angry Mob this way, put it into your hand. I know I've discussed this card at great length in the past. I love it. It is very good. I like seeing a bunch of them. There's two. Usually, okay, you see three. Four. Okay, very nice. Five. Oh, my lord. Can we possibly see six? Come on, baby. You're going to pull it slow. Oh, okay, still, five is very nice. Squire Alice is two power, two armor. Play, capture two amber. Another Squire Alice. Seeker of Truth, 3 power, 1 armor, fight you may, fight with a friendly non sanctum creature. Fangs of Gizzleheart, Salt and Last deck, purging the most powerful creature, and Champion NFL is the last card of the deck, with the damage pip, 6 power, 1 armor, and taunt. Well, congratulations you two, I hope you like your brand new decks, and I look forward to seeing you guys again next year, as we open more Mass Mutations. 
As always, thank you very much. Watch my videos, and I'll see you next time.